All right, welcome back, guys. Of course, now back to mass rank and you know road to it. It is kind of rough. Um, looking back at it, you know, the two previous video was reports, so it will be one video with me getting two wins, and that's about it. And going into that, I have a, what's it, 17 wins and three losses. And you know, I've been to work like this is afterwards, and it just it felt kind of rough that that never transpired. This is the team I'm using, however. And what I'm going to do now is uh, get back to that rank. Um, <clears throat> I'll be honest, um, I think I need still two wins. And um, if I only need one, that's great. But since I lost the last one, I'm pretty sure I get less points this time around. So, um, yeah, I hope we can make this work. I've been considering uh, taking nine in Seismitone instead, but uh, I'll think I'll think I go with this team anyway. Um, I have really big success with it, but um, just my my prediction has been on point and had a matchup favor, yet I failed to win twice um, in those previous battles I had. One was still like the, the um, paralyzation uh, with the Rotom Wash versus the Wimps Con. That might have been one of the worst situations I ever had to face off. And the other one be in the sack play with um, with my Dragapult. I could very well have won with the Hydreigon, but I didn't. That was kind of rough too. So I'm still annoyed by it. But, you know, it's my flaw or fault. And, you know, I'm just going to hit the Master Rank anyway, eventually. This is... This is something else. Um, <clears throat> two ghost types, that's kind of rough. I think Tyranitar is kind of a right. Um, and that's Sunflum, and more of a Zombreon. And, uh, Dracovish looks to be okay. Hmm. Question is, what do I lead off with? Honestly, Tyranitar is not bad. You could get Skullbird by Molotic and that would be awful. But I think Toxtricity, Whimsicard and Glissopod. Really isn't anything that you can do though. And Tyranitar, yeah. That's the team. Let's do it. I was feeling maybe Tokis would have been nice, but yeah. I'm just gonna Volt Switch turn one, really, and uh, take it from there. Toxtricity is still kind of alright. Right, leads off with AG Slash. That's cool. Chana wanted that. So he gets a free Soul Stance if he wants to. I'm just gonna go for Aspex Volt Switch. Alright, it stays in at least. And we do alright damage there, that's for sure. So your sword stands or head smash. Stance chance, right? He goes for an attack at least. To Sacred Sword, absolute beast. Sacred Sword, you don't see that every day. Color me impressed. Huh. Was that switch that obvious? I guess so. Well, Specs Overdrive, I mean, he gotta switch into this somehow. Don't believe King Shield is gonna save him. Or I know he won't. <clears throat> 
So Shadow Snake should be the play. Or not. You're gonna just drop here, buddy. There we go. I don't like there are two Pokemon I don't wanna see. And right now more than ever, really. Um one is um I was gonna say Gar Border, but no the the Phantom Polter guys, there we go. Did not want to see that guy either. I'm gonna go draw for that overdrive and uh, at least I'm fast, so that's kind of alright. What should overdrive do? Oh wow, okay, cool. But Psych is gonna absolute KO. Um, I think Sandstorm knocks him out, right? Please? Yes! <laughs> right, last matchup. Um, don't be melodic, right? If it is melodic, I lose. If it is Mimikyu, I win. Cool. Or, none of us is Dynamax yet. Might as well take my chance. Um. There is no way in hell this guy beats me. Um, he goes directly for Dynamax, so it doesn't make sense. Um, the only negative with that is without Sword Stance, I don't see him beating uh, Goliath's apart. There's just no way. And uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Goliath's apart is why it has been one of the best inclusion for me. In, in this team. It it wasn't as effective in Season 2, but it had its merits, but this time it has been just... It seems the, match or the meta has been so focused on single strike Pokemon that people are just forgetting how awesome Golisopod is to those Pokemon. It punished them easily. Let's see, Max Starfold, Max God. I wonder why. You're getting as much out of this as I do. See Max Fantasm. That raises his special attack, right? Or my defense fell. How about that? And life orb. Alright, yeah, but he's not taking another one, and I'm absolutely taking one more of these. Huh, so it's the ghost type move that drops defense. That's good to know, actually. Let's break his disguise. And, um. Honestly? Do you want to max guard again, thinking it gets me better in range? I can see that happening. We're just maximizing the damage. There we go. And it won't KO me unless he crits me, but nah, nowhere near, and I'm absolutely gonna eat him. Please make sure I get into mass rank after this. I I, I wanna stop playing this game, I wanna focus on season 3, and uh, just die already, there we go. Because, um, of course, I'm gonna have the Sun team with the uh, Venusaur, or the Shell Smash uh, team with Blastoise. Those are the two key things now, and I just, I wanna wrap up, I wanna be done with this. So I can focus on what's more fun, which is absolutely anything else. Give me points, give me points, give me points. But I'm pretty sure I get nothing. Um, since, I, like I said, I lost last time. But that worked way better than I thought it would. Um, I'll take my result. Where am I? Bastard. Okay, so we must go for one more game. And win. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> like these battles in the Ultra Tier are so rough. I just wanted wanted to end. Oh, there it is though. There it is. Tyranitar is kind of alright. 
The Lights Apart is not really good here. Whimsicott is fair. Dracovish is absolute monster. So I think we're doing a Whimsicott lead with Dracovish and uh, I guess Tarantar, right? I like Colise Apart here to be honest, but it's just his Sylveon kind of makes it tough. Corbine makes it tough for me too. Toxtricity might actually be alright, yeah, let's do that. I'm done. <laughs> if it leads off with Rotom, I'm just gonna go for a Tailwind and try to preserve Rotom. That's where we go for a U-turn. Or that's my play, like anyhow I do it, that's probably how I'm gonna you know, wheel myself around. But uh, um, I'm leaving a lot of hope to Dracovish here to maximize its damage output. Trantor was really good in this matchup, but I just fear I can't wait to make it work. This is one of the few times when I really wish I had right period. Right. <clears throat> this is actually kind of good as I can go directly for a Moonblast. He could be Scarfed. So now he's hangry. Right faster, I should absolutely be able to knock him out. But it's really good to have a set like that. Fake out in this 3 versus 3 is not bad. Unless, of course, you go for um, a Mega Evolution, I was going to say. <laughs> um, he could very well be Sash, actually. Oh, of course he is. Um, so let's see. War of I believe, is Taunt. That's actually all good. That doesn't bother me one bit. You turning here? So what I want to do, since his team in theory was kind of weak to Toxtricity, besides Dragapult, I kind of want to take that route. Because basically if it has Jardos, it won't come in versus this. And I can bolt switch. I'll always be slower than uh, um, than uh, Dragapult. Jardos. Okay. This should mean earthquake in my ears, at least. So with that in mind, I'm gonna switch out. I could have may have all the room. There we go. That was probably not the play actually. I can go for a tailwind. Oh, he goes directly for that I'm not sure about. He's gonna actually knock me out with a max air stream, but I'm gonna get the tailwind. I should easily be faster. So that's kind of exciting. Um I guess it is whether or not Max Overdrive does take me out. Or does take him out. If it is Wakamba, it won't. There is no reason for me of uh, doing anything but go for that Overdrive. It is Moxie, of course it's Moxie. Um,
because Overdrive is stronger no matter what. He could be Wakamba, and if he is, you know, more power to him, but this is my only shot at him. Come on, buddy. It wasn't! Mm. <laughs> Boom, bitch! Get out of the way! That's that's exciting. I'll take that. We 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 we, we do those things. We we eat Jardos because we don't like him. And Corvanite, oh this is this is the pretty sight. This is the Master Ball tier. Toxtricity finds a way. Jesus God, he cancelled it? Absolute mad lad. What's wrong with you? Let me beat your ass, Alice. It's not often you get that pounding. Uh, I have no idea what I'm saying. Um, don't mean that, I'm clearly joking. Alice absolutely do not take it out the butt. I've seen her before. I know her kind. I should stop talking. But hey, we are now in the master ranks. Finally. There we go. 1900. I'm feeling steady. It took me a lot longer this time to get here. I am happy. Um, but yeah, you know, I want to thank everybody who supported me. Which would be basically my, my cat. And my daughter. Who clearly, you know, he love, she loves Colisopod a lot. Uh, but no, really. This road to ranked or took a lot longer than last time I did. I want to upload like this again. Uh, if you guys like this content. I actually made free videos of this road rank, which I didn't expect myself doing. Next time, hopefully, you know, I'll I'll make it easy for myself, which is I rank myself up um, before the matches, as you know, the easy wins are easy wins in the Pokeball and Great Ball tier. It all starts once you're in the Ultra tier. Everybody knows that. And it was rougher this time it was last time. So this team probably is obsolete as a season three. So with that, so guys, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed these series of videos, and I'm happily to say that I'll probably upload the season 3 of this concept. So with that said, have a great day, and take care. Bye.